Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be speaking about movies that are so bad that they're actually really good. And some of these on my list are my personal favorites of this sort of genre that I would class as its own sort of thing. We're talking movies with like terrible effects, terrible story that makes absolutely no sense. Characters that are just making stupid ass choices for no reason. Funny ass movies, parody movies. We're talking all of these put into one big category. These are my personal favorites. I want to know your personal favorites. So let me know in the comments below. Smash that like button, click subscribe, and let's have some fun and discuss some of the bad movies that are absolutely awesome and fun and entertaining. We're going to start off with a classic, Sharknado. I mean, this franchise has seven, like seven movies or something like that. It's 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 ridiculous how a movie franchise like Sharknado has so many movies. This movie, well, this franchise, I should say, because I'm speaking about the whole franchise because I love all of them, because they know how bad they are. They're absolutely god awful. Imagine the concept and an idea of a tornado Filled with sharks. Just take that concept and just try to wrap your brain around that and how that would work and how that would come out on the big screen. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Add in the absolutely horrendous effects as well, which is what I love about this film, is the effects, they don't take themselves seriously. And most of this movie, they don't take themselves serious at all. They know exactly what they're doing. They know exactly their target audience. They know exactly what they are doing when it comes to the Sharknado franchise. That is why there's seven of them, because suckers like me go in and just laugh and laugh and laugh and love these sort of movies. They like literally turn your brain off, sit down and just piss yourself a laughing with your friends. Or if you want to drink and watch them, you get an absolute ball about them. I'm talking, we got people getting eaten by sharks in space, coming down, chainsawing their way out, giving birth in a shark. Um, what else is there? People, going in with a jet into the water, coming out and they completely strip their clothes and everything like that into like this like shirtless and all that sort of stuff. Like it's just insane. Beverly Hills floods somehow in the house, but when they go outside, it's not flooded. Like it's so ridiculous that it just works. It's fun. The jokes are funny. They make absolute memes all the time. Sharknado is one of those absolute must watch classics they are so bad that it's so good. And why not start off with an absolute banger of Sharknado? They blew up Congress. <laughs> Mars Attacks, another one, another sci fi classic made back in the day. I remember watching this for the first time and I thought, Whoa, WTF, what the hell is this that I'm watching? What, what is this? An alien invasion from Mars happens on Earth, except these little Martian looking dudes have these <laughs> fishbowl heads, basically. And what they do is, I mean, it's very unique and very different to what I kind of expected from a sci-fi alien invasion movie where these cartoon looking characters, because the effects again aren't that great, that's what I love about this film, come down and they have this idea of removing a human head, putting it on a dog's, a little chihuahua's body, and putting the chihuahua's head on the human body. What? This is absolutely crazy. Some of the stuff that they do in here, where they go up and they meet and like he shoots the president and that. It's just bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. This movie is just it's, it's one of those ones where you got to watch, and the laugh is, I oh, the laugh. It's iconic. It's an iconic laugh. I'd be very surprised if a lot of movie moviegoers haven't seen Mars Attacks, because it's just so much fun. It's so much entertaining. The way that they end up dying at the end is hilarious, and it's, it's just one of those epic scenes where you're sitting there, and this explosions going left, right, and center. It's an absolute classic. I would highly recommend checking it out. You'll get an absolute kick out of it. And another one that is so bad, but so good, is Mars Attacks. Pick up 
hit you up, pumping iron in San Quentin. <laughs> you ever get punched in the face for talking too much? Triple X, I mean the first one. It's not a very good movie. Not a very good movie at all, but I tell you what, it has a lot of redeeming qualities, and I actually find a lot of fun and entertainment out of this movie. Whether it's Samuel L. Jackson being Samuel L. Jackson, I mean, anything he does is just fun, entertaining, and awesome, and I can just watch him on screen all the time. There is some great jokes throughout this line. I necessarily don't think the story is very good at all. I think it's all over the place. I think some of the character motives are all over the place as well. But it's a dumb, fun action adventure. There's some sequences, like, when he's in the Colombian uh, fields there, where he's riding the motorbike. Absolutely epic scene as well. Don't make much sense, but it's awesome. There's other things with the cars. That's cool. Triple uh, X himself is fun and entertaining as well. I just... I like this movie. I don't know why. I know it's not very good, but I get a lot of entertainment, and the music is brilliant as well. The score is absolutely incredible. I love the villains. I really, really love the villains as well. And yeah, just overall, this is a fun time. It's just a fun time. It, it's so bad that it's good as well, because I know none of this is just like, okay, whatever. It's like, whatever. Like the first whole opening sequence of him still in the car and going on and doing a stunt is just like, Okay, I guess that just happened, but it was fun. It was fun. So, for me, Triple X has got to be in there. It's got to be in the bad, but it's so great. <laughs> Rubber tree. Always good for clothesline. <laughs> George of the Jungle is an absolute classic that I loved watching when I was growing up. When you watch it back now, it is so bad. Like, the movie is absolutely horrendous. But it's so good. This is just, it's an absolute classic. This is Brendan Fraser at his absolute best. I love him in this. This whole Tarzan parody is just fantastic. The Talking Gorillas. What is going on with that? Talking Gorillas? Are you serious? When he's got the line and he's spitting a lion, and that is just a funny ass scene. A lot of this movie doesn't make any sense and is all over the place, but when you've got these actors and actresses who are staples in our today world now, they are just. This is just a fun time. Again, the classic song of George of the Jungle never gets old. I just. I love this movie so much. I do. I can sit down and watch it now and laugh my absolute ass off. I think it's absolutely hilarious. It doesn't take itself too seriously. It knows exactly what it's going for and it knows exactly the target or target audience it's going for. And it's a fun thing. It's one of those movies you have to see in your lifetime because it it's not good. And when you see the talking apes and everything like that, you're like, okay, I guess I guess that's happened. But you'll laugh your ass off in this movie. This is Brennan Fraser at his best. Absolutely fantastic. So for me, George of the Jungle is definitely on this list. You just passed the first grade. I am the smartest man alive! <laughs> Today, Junior! Adam Sandler's Billy Madison is on this list as well. Look, Adam Sandler has a lot of movies that people don't like as well, but Billy Madison is one that just does not make any sense. A guy going back to school for two weeks to try and grow up, go up every single grade and pass it in order to make sure the company doesn't fall in someone else's hand and then falls in love with the teacher. Doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't make any sense. But this is one of the funniest movies I've ever seen. It's just Adam Sandler in his prime. A movie that doesn't make much sense, but delivers on the fun and entertainment. That's what it is. The whole ending where they're going head to head in the uh, decathlon thing is just absolutely hilarious. There's, there's so many wacky scenes where he's doing a test with the woman that he's falling in love with and she's stripping every time he gets a question right and every time he gets it wrong she puts clothes back on and then it goes to the bus driver. Hell, absolutely hilarious. The, the uh, peeing your pants scene. Hilarious. Just Everything about Billy Madison is absolutely hilarious, especially the Shakespeare performance bit. 
How good is that? This is just Adam Sandler at his prime. It's not a very... If you're looking at it from a movie and a film perspective, it's not very good. But when you're looking at it from a fun entertainment thing, it's absolutely the top tier. It's top tier. That's why it's so bad, but so good. So for me, Billy Madison's in this list. <laughs> Stuba, a recent film that I watched starring, uh, what's his name, Dave Bautista. Absolutely, I found this movie to be so much fun. Yes, an Uber driver takes a cop and works with him to stop criminals. It movie is not very good. I'll tell you that now. The storyline is not very good. It tries certain things that just doesn't work. But I'll tell you what, it's pretty bad, but it's freaking a hell of a lot of fun. Absolute fun to the max. I think the dynamic between our two main leads is so much fun. That is what steals this for me, is their whole dynamic, their whole bickering, working together. You've got this big cop fella who's just absolutely knows what he's doing. And you've got this little... Indian Uber driver who doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't know and he's in this and it's just so much fun. Like the jokes just work for me. Absolutely work. Their chemistry works. Everything about their whole dynamic works. And that's what makes it so rewatchable for me. It's because I can sit down. I know it's not top tier film or anything like that, but entertainment wise, it is top tier as well. I love Stuba. Probably more than most people do. I can sit down and watch it and watch it and watch it. It's just so much fun. For me, it's so bad that it's good. I'm the only one who can walk in both worlds. I'm Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider starring Nicolas Cage. I mean, this is just Nick Cage at Nick Cage. He's just so phenomenal in this. I remember watching this for the first time. I liked it when I was a kid. And then now, watching it back... I know it's not a good movie. I know it's not. Like, it's really bad. But that's what I love about it. I love that it's so bad and it goes down that really comic, wacky sort of vibe where we have a guy who turns into a skeleton with fire and looks into people's eyes and, like, kills them. Kills demons and stuff like that. Like, it's just so much fun. Who doesn't want to see a flaming skeleton dude on a motorbike that is burning out fire. Who doesn't want to see that? It sounds absolutely awesome. And I think he, Nicolas Cage, nails it. Absolutely nails the performance. Especially when he first starts turning to Ghost Rider, it's so wacky that it's so Nicolas Cage. And that's what I love about it. It goes the full way. It doesn't just stop halfway and go, hmm, we want to be serious, but we also want to go down the fantastic route as well. It's like, no, they went the full, all the way down. They went all the way with it. And that's what I love about it. I love the design. I just... I'm a sucker for Ghost Rider. I'm sorry. I'm a sucker for Ghost Rider. Um, so yeah, it makes this list. Bugs laid a trap for us, didn't they? Ah! It wouldn't be a list without Starship Troopers. One of the greatest sci-fi classics out there today. Terrible effects. Bug life creatures that need to be exterminated from another planet. So we send our troops over to their home world to kill the bugs. Yes, that's right. Like, I'm talking like legit bugs, just supersized. Somehow they know how to travel and stuff like that. Work that one out. They're just bugs. But this is one of the sci-fi classics. You guys have to see Starship Troopers from the absolute hilarious jokes to the absolute gruesome deaths that you see, to the absolute fun entertainment of the action, to the great characters that are so much fun, to the dumbass story that doesn't make any sense. It's got everything you want. If you like these type of movies, this is one that's got to be on the top of your list. It's just so much fun. I love it. Johnny Rico is just one of those characters that you just fall in love with straight away. You feel bad for him, and you think it's freaking awesome what's going on. The bugs themselves, while the effects don't look that good, but it does in a way. It's so hard to explain that. Like, they don't look good, but they look good. And the the kills, man. You, you 
you can't talk about Starship Troopers without the kills. Some of the kills are absolutely brutal. There is a kill towards the end that is just absolutely brutal. I'm talking top tier deaths. Don't want, I never want that to happen to me. And that the bug alien that does it, gross as fuck. But hey, I tell you what, Starship Troopers, so bad that it's so good. Highly recommend checking it out. And yeah, it's definitely on this list for me. And escape the clutches of Dark Helmet. I see your Schwartz is as big as mine. Spaceballs, one of the, no, not one of, the greatest parody movie to ever be made. The parody of Star Wars that can never be topped for parody movies. Spaceballs is an absolute instant classic. One of my favourite comedies of all time. This movie knows it's not to be taken seriously like Star Wars. It's not meant to be this deep story. But what it is meant to be, it's meant to be one of the funniest things you'll ever watch. And it delivers on that. You've got Dark Helmet. Oh my god, my favourite character from the movie. He is hilarious. There is so many funny things that happen to Dark Helmet in this movie. That is just bonkers crazy. And bonkers funny. Like, <laughs> so many. The moment where he says... <laughs> with with uh, eyeing off with our hero. And he's got his ring that shoots out the lightsaber. And he's talking about how he's... Uh, <laughs> his father's brother's sister's... Goes on this big tangent. Former roommate. And he's like, what's that? What Lone Star's like, what does that make us? And he's like, absolutely nothing. Like, it's just, it's a take on that I'm your father thing. That's just hilarious. That works. Just everything about it, that take on Han Solo and Chewbacca works as well. The whole take on the Empire works so great. Just, Yogurt is funny. The take on Yoda. I, just, I love this movie. This movie is is a timeless classic. It is so rewatchable. If you guys have not seen Spaceballs, check it out. I guarantee you, you will love this movie. It is terrible, but so good. So for me, Spaceballs is on this list. Dragon Ball Z Broly the Second Coming. Now this movie was only made because Broly was so popular after the first one. The first one was one of the most popular Dragon Ball movies. Like you, everyone loved this Broly version. This animalistic, berserker, huge power, just destructive force destroying anything. And not even Goku himself could take it out. So they had to all band together and give Goku power to beat him in the first one. So they brought him back. The story doesn't make much sense. It does not make much sense. Because Broly's back, but we have Gohan and Goten in this one. And Trucks. Now, Gohan was just an 11-year-old boy in the first one. And now he's grown up. He's a teenager now. So somehow Broly's back. He's back. He is. Right. So they all fight off. And it's like, it's just there for dumb action. And it, it's great action. The story, not very good. But the action is great. And it has one of the great moments... The family car, Mayor Mayor. It's so epic. It's just absolutely fantastic. And I love that moment. I like this movie. I do. I love it. We won't talk about Bio Broly though. Because that's, that's just horrible. This movie isn't very good. But it has so much redeeming entertainment qualities about it. And some epic moments. Where you're kind of like. Thank you. I will rewatch this again. Just to get to that moment again. Um, Gohan's awesome in it. Goten's awesome in it. Trunks is awesome. Broly is Broly, being his destructive best, as per usual, being pissed off because Goten has the same hair as Goku, and Goku cried, and that's why Broly hates him, because he was crying when they were a kid, doesn't make much sense, that's why the new Broly movie is so much better, because they redo him, but yeah, so this one, it's got to be on my list as well. So there you have it, that is my list of some of the worst movies that are so bad. But they're so good. And I absolutely love all these movies. I can rewatch them. They're fun. They're entertainment. But I want to know yours. Smash it down below. Because maybe there's some of yours that I do like as well. That just haven't made my list. So smash them down. Smash that like button. Click subscribe. And I'll see you guys next video. Until then, stay safe. Peace out.